Hello students, tonight we are going to talk about a new topic called the probability. P-R-O-B-A-B-I-L-I-T-Y. Probability. And actually, this topic originated from gambling. And therefore, in this chapter, we are going to talk about quite a number of problems on contosing, rolling a dice or drawing a card from a deck of uh, from a pack of playing cards. And uh, in fact, probability actually means it's a measure of how likely something is going to happen. And if an event has a higher probability, it means that it is very likely to happen. And if the event has a low probability, then we can say that it is unlikely to happen. And uh, just let me introduce one of the founders of probability, and uh, he is called Blaise Pascal. This guy is called Blaise Pascal. He is one of the. He's a French mathematician and inventor, and he is also one of the founder of probability. And uh, this is another invention from uh, Blaise Pascal, which is called the Pascal, Pas, Pascal triangle or Pascal triangle. And uh, if you study M1 or M2 in Form 4, you will learn this triangle in your math lesson. And uh, if you study ICT in your Form 4 or Form 5 lesson, then you will have a chance to write some Pascal program. This is what we call the Pascal program. So now we can take a very simple example on rolling a fair dice. Uh, so this is a dice. And uh, a fair dice actually means the probability, the chance of getting any one number from the dice is equal. That means fair. It actually means the chances of getting any one number is equal. And therefore, let's say, suppose we are going to find the probability of getting the number 3 by rolling a fair dice. And then since we all know there are a total of 6 faces on a dice, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There are a total of six possible, we call this outcomes. Six possible outcomes. And actually, the number three is only one of the six possible outcomes. One out of six. So, this actually give us a measure on how likely this event is going to happen, getting the number 3 by rolling a fair dice. There is only one chance out of 6 possible outcomes. So therefore, how can we express this in mathematics? Probably, this will be a ratio, 1 to 6. And therefore, you will usually write the results of a probability in a fraction which is 1 over 6. And let's see another example. If we are going to find the probability of getting the number 1 by rolling a fair dice. Again, the number 1 is only one of the 6 possible outcomes. So therefore, again, we have 6 as the denominator, and the numerator will also be 1. So again, this will be 1 over 6. But what about getting an even number? Even number. So, how many numbers are even out of these six possible outcomes? And actually, we can count them. We have two, four, six. So there will be a total of three, pos uh, three outcomes out of the six possible outcomes. So our answer will be 3 over 6. And after simplifying, we get 1 over 2. And look that we have three outcomes here. We call this the favorable outcomes. Favorable means this is what we want. This favorable actually means this is what we want because we want even number. So we just count. They are 1, 2, 3, 3 favorable outcomes. 
And uh, let's see another simple example on tossing a fair coin. And uh, let's see this is the two faces of a ten dollar coin of Hong Kong. And uh, the face with a number we call this a tail. T. And the face with a head, or actually is a flower. We call this the head. And since by tossing a coin, either a head or tail will come up, there will, there will be a total of two possible outcomes. And uh, the probability of getting a head will be one out of two. Therefore, this will be one over two. Similarly, the probability of getting a tail will also be one outcome over two possible outcome. And in the case of a fair coin, fair actually means the probability, probability of getting a head or tail is equal. So we call this a fair coin. And uh, if a coin is not fair, then these two probabilities will not be equal to each other.